Book lovers of all ages always looking for something new to read, right? Well, not buying a new book can get a little expensive. So now a bunch of little free libraries are coming to the city of Detroit. A boost for reading as well as literacy. Paula Tutman takes a look at this change through the eyes of a child who found reading to be the much needed escape. They're called little free libraries, and if you look carefully throughout different communities in Metro Detroit, you might actually see them. The idea is simple. You see a book you like, you grab it, you take it home. If you have an extra book, you can leave it. But there are also some very interesting stories behind the book. Officer Buckles gave safety tips. Number one, keep your shoelaces tied. Eight-year-old Rose has built her own personal home library with the help of little free libraries. I don't know how much, but I know it's a bunch a bunch. A bunch a bunch? Yes. Like a bunch a bunch a bunch a bunch? Yes. Yeah. And so it is with bated breath she awaits the new little free libraries coming online. Thanks to a partnership with the nonprofit Brilliant Detroit and Gail, a global organization that builds communities through libraries and literacy. We're gonna go all the way around the flower. These two organizations have partnered to build, stock, and maintain 21 new little free libraries throughout Detroit. In this region, there's not a library. And so it gives children an opportunity uh, to come by and get a book. Our goal is really to get our kids and our families to build their own personal libraries. At this brilliant Detroit hub in Detroit, the final touches. Come on, slide yours in. But here's something you don't see when a child takes a book to build a world around them how access to books and reading transforms a child. I love Dr. Seuss books. Rose's mother was killed two years ago simply because she was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Janae Fletcher was one of three people shot to death in 2021 at a house in Detroit. She left behind seven small children. Rose was one of them. At first, when it first happened, it was very difficult. I didn't know what to do. I was. I was crying nonstop. And it was the books she collected from these tiny birdhouses for books that were her friend, her shepherd, her escape. It helped me with my stress and when I was feeling down and lonely and sad, I would read a book and a book that makes me feel happy. Paula Tutman, Local 4. By the way, the man accused of killing Rose's mother is currently on trial. As for the new Little Free Library stations, they will be erected at brilliant Detroit House hubs throughout the rest of the summer.